Hey guys, this is Guy and Helmers. Um, I'm the creator of Get Rich series, and um, I wanted to show you how I develop the comic pages. So uh, here we have a, a comic page here, uh, episode episode three, page fifty-two. Um, it's not out yet; it's coming out in a little bit, but I'm not going to post this video till it's out, so there's no spoilers. Um, and so it begins with. Um, my script, I've also given you just only this page, but of course the script runs through all the pages. Um, I write the script beforehand, and then I start breaking it down into pages, then break each down one down into um, each of the four, um, I guess, rows, um, and sort of define how each image is going to sort of be conceptually. Um, because I don't have anyone else to have to explain it to, I don't have to go into too much detail on the in the text, because I just know what's going on because I thought of it. Um, but here you can go in and um, you know do things like uh, go like uh, panel one half, uh, and then colon. And then describe stuff that says, "Oh, their face is grizzled. They're looking. You're looking at the back of their head." And then go uh, panel two half two out of two colon, and then you know more stuff about the next pa uh, panel. But in my case, uh, and in this case, I just have four. Now, once I know from the script and what's going on and how many panels and how it's going to be presented. Um, I fill this with, I've got a huge mesh, mess of um, panel types that I've pre-made so that they have the nice little uh, ripply edges. So there's the full, then there's the half, then there's two thirds and one third, then there's triples, there's horizontals, there's quarters. Uh, sex tuples, whatever, then there's the tall, um, the tall I added after I made this because it was a new addition to the set and I would just make more going down the chart as I need. Um, so you just drag those in. Um, in this case uh, these are blue because I'm in a night segment so I've got uh, pre-made blue layers but see there, there you go. Just looks like that. And so then with that, uh, you hop into the sketch, you set your line, your color to red. Um, and I like to use this uh, Kyle's Ultimate 2B pencil. Uh, and just get to work. So uh, in this case, they're still running. Um, I've determined that it's going to be a far shot of sort of street and houses kind of thing. Um, some gaps here. And uh, then haze is going to be, well, I guess he should be feeling. And then I guess the spine. Get a really wide stride. Um, so then you've got his little bulby hoodie, and you've got his big puffy sleeves. Um, and it's running sort of that way. I guess we can uh, get his tail in there too. And to get his uh, and I guess this goes into his shoulder. So then, you know, he's running like that. And then Wolfgang is coming after him, saying, I didn't do anything. So then, um, just because I love that the humor of the anime ultra intense run, 
we're just going get his chest really barreled out like that Again, go for really broad strides. And I guess Wolfgang's just uh, wearing his panties. So, and then I guess. I guess. Disregard. Um. So then we've got that, you know, so it's got the general idea of how it all goes. You know, you've got the streets going like that. And maybe we could you know, go for the street lines, go for the, there's a horizon in the back, which is, you know, a bunch of smaller houses, or at least houses that are farther away. and you know, go for an apartment building back there. And then you get a little bit of sky. Because, um, of course, they're in the city, right? So you got to appreciate that uh, that's not how things will even go. Oops, there we go. We'll even go with, like, a fence here. I think that's a smart way to do it. Um... Good, so then um, he's yelling, or he's bawling, I love you, man, how can you do this to me? So uh, we're going to go for like nice f foreground hand. And... Uh, so of course, because there's a lot of emotion going on, it's going to be a nice, big, tight. And then, because this hand is up, his shoulder's up a little bit more. I'll give him a little wrinkle there. And because this one's back, I guess it sort of doesn't matter. Um, I'm being in too much of a rush here. I'll delete that. Actually, I'm going to just start over here. It's always best to start with the head. Of course, trying to do a circle that's too big for the square. In some instances, I'll. Transform and make it smaller just a bit. Deselect brush. Go for more of the round properly, actually, this time. You know, in this case, he would have his ear. Well, he is sad, so. But he's running sort of this way to keep the flow of the fact that they're running to the right. We're giving him a slightly right-leaning uh, head. Of course, as we've explained in the, oops, in the uh, character designs, his ears slope along with the curvature of his head. Um, in this case, because his head is tilted this way, this ear hides back a little bit more than this ear. Um, trying to make this a little bit clearer for you guys. Uh, and his hair would be out like this, but we are in the rain. So we're gonna go like that, and then like that. And just give him you know, sort of raggedy, raspy thing. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet 
if I'm going to go for more tufts than four. Um, I guess in the previous one. Here, let's just pull it up for the sake of it. Yeah. Too much going on there. Um, we'll open it up here, 151. Ooh, here. Yeah, so haze, as you can see in the bottom here, uh, in, he's got way more tufts of hair just because it's all messy. So yeah, then that's fine. And then now we have a much better basis for his fingers, which are going to be there's the ring finger, and then there's the... I'm gonna give it a nice, you know, sort of swoop over so that it, even though, you know, structurally, you know, he's maybe going like that kind of thing, you want the shot to be sort of detailed, I guess, because I'm showing you now, I can make some of these adjustments. Uh, lasso, free transform, uh, put the center over here, tilt his hands like that. But uh, you're not going to, of course, see any of that, so then um, you want to just be sure that uh, you suggest the connection. And then uh, just go like that sort of a softer shoulder thing, you know, sort of suggesting that his chest is going to be coming out like that and his hand's going to be, you know, you know, way down there, tiny little hand far away, because um, we're pushing for that uh, perspective. Um, in the background, I guess it's essentially sidewalk, really pushing it like that. Uh, houses maybe like that and then like houses in the background I guess the road sort of goes there so then go for something along the lines of that I guess uh, running down a long st stretch of road so you can just uh, Pull it like way up like that. I guess then you want to go like that. Pull it in. So it's going like, you know. And then get the house like that. Anyways, it doesn't really matter because you're going to do some depth of field or do some lighting or whatever. There's also going to be rain flying around like that. Um, but then. Uh, I'm going for uh, three facial shots here. So then um, I'm going to just uh, skip the background because we know what it's doing for the most part. I guess we're going to do some motion blur actually because that makes more sense. Um, you know, along with where he's running. So it's sort of like crazy here. Uh, copy, paste in place. It's going to way overlap the the previous and it's going to be bright so then I just uh, pull this up like this and merge down just for the sake of it and then pull the color back in oops um, cut that head part out a little bit and then just for the sake of making it a nice quality one we're going to pull this ear out just a bit more course no one's not it's gonna really notice here because uh, you know why would they notice something so subtle but you know you did it right so maybe not quite that much here we go. and then tilt his head a bit more to forward what is he saying here? He's really angry. 
So we'll go like this. And this is the nice thing about having round heads is that uh, you just treat it like a ball. Um, and uh, you just slide stuff around along its surface. And just by changing that, uh, the angle of, of his face, you know, you get, you know, the sort of light, like, oh no. And then here you get the, you know, you know. Um, but then, because we want to have some continuation of the, you know, what's going on here, we're going to go with, I guess, because um, of course we're tilted, we're looking sort of that way at him, you know, uh, I guess, you know, like that. Um, so, then, you know, the box is like going like, oops, like that sort of. Um, Guess we should probably thumb index ring pinky and then this is where when you choose a an angle in a certain way it just totally fucks you. No. You're struggling here. I shouldn't have clicked back so much. Oh well, we're getting there. Okay. Um, so we're gonna change his to a sort of the softer, and then. Move them over just a little bit and go for the tall shoulder into. And we're cheating here, but that's okay. Into his. Right there. And then there's his ring finger going for, you know, those little. And then for the last one, we'll keep that hand again. And we're going, oops, stupid keys. There we go. And we're going to, oops, actually get the whole image. There we go. Copy, paste in place, move that down. Shift it down. Um, maximize all this. Merge down. Like that. Eraser. Erase this. We can pull back this. And then, wah ha ha. I guess, uh, you know, for the most part, this. Uh, works out fine except that I think we're gonna pull his ears up because and then we'll go like the corners like that. Um, and then maybe not so far tilted. So far. there we go. That's a good one. Ooh. 
There we go. So now Wolfgang is going through a slew of emotions as you chain through. Um, and then uh, basically using the principles of uh, my character designs, you do uh, all these characters. So in the, in the first folder, uh, i.e. panel one, um, you know, I'd switch to my regular brush, go pressure, do flow, blah, blah, blah. Um, increase my brush size. Um, oops. Go to below my dark layer and put in a Wolfgang. Oops. Never done that before. Put in a Wolfgang and put in a Haze. As you can see down here, it's just slamming out those layers. And of course, I would have a um, BG layer or folder, and that's where you know you go in and you do. Let's see the. You go sidewalk. I'm not going to go, you know, full-fledged here. And then there's the road, which is a different tone. Um, you want the sidewalk to have its uh, little bit of depth. So then you go and you'd make a somewhat darker sidewalk layer or a uh, tone and just run along the edge of the sidewalk color. Um, of course, those are the closest, so then you make a layer at the bottom and... I'll just use my brick here and you go for a brick house I'll just do these brick houses here wand wand shift and shift F2 and you know you'd want to have the brick houses have some element of depth here and then below that you'd have the grass put the grass here and then you know, let's say I'm gonna do a white fence so then we'll go for a somewhat white fence here put the fence there maybe have the grass perhaps run you know further into the background uh, get some you know brown houses in I've got stamps for this. I could use my uh, my little my house stamp. Make that bigger. House stamp. Ooh, oh, I see. It's pressure. That's why. Oops. Want to do those? Um, make my stamp smaller. We go stamp, 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 kind of thing. As you can see, and then uh, you know, let's say you're gonna go for really really faded out in the background houses which are like bing, bing, bing. and then uh, because it's nighttime you then go for the um, ultra dark blue and then the like slightly less dark blue oh, okay I want ultra dark blue and then we'll go basically black make a gradient can't remember which direction it's gonna go and do <laughs> those houses are basically vanishing oh maybe not uh, I see okay. go for that. And there you go. So then you've got the background. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to keep this for the final one. Um, and then, you know, follow the character design. So you hit the skin for Wolfgang. You go in. You take your brush. You change it from the house to not the house, so your regular one. Um, go in. Do his... Wow, that's a huge brush. Go to your skin. Go in, do his head, 
to his ears, you know, give his neck, shoulders, all that, etc. And uh, by the end of it, you get one of these with nice characters, nice backgrounds, obviously not rushed. Here, I'll show you the sketch here. Um, we'll make it nice and bright. So you can see I started with just really rough, scribbly, um, barely anything just to get the general details. Of course, the more important it is for certain things like um, body language, etc., the more focus you put into the, the sketch um, just to get the general settings of it all. As you can see here, I just the, adjusted the door quite a lot because of course it's just to get the setting right. And uh, there you go. Then at the end, bam. And you've got a solid comic page done. So, uh, well, I hope with uh, these couple sets of guides that you're starting to understand the my decision making for making this art style, um, you know, how I get it going how the workflow rolls and, and the thought behind it, how it builds up and, you know, ends up sculpting into uh, what you know and love. So uh, I hope you guys are having some fun watching this and, uh, and maybe get to try some cool stuff. See ya.